Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a company by the name of Mindset Pharma Incorporated, really involved in the psychedelic drug development space, and they've got a number of key partnerships and industry leading agreements that really separate this company compared to some of the others in this space. Now before we get into that, please take a second, hit the like button you guys, it's a huge help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And let me know in the comment section below what you think of Mindset Pharma, if you're currently holding shares, and how you think they stack up to some of the other players in this space. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. That's right, today's video we're going to be taking a look at Mindset Pharma Incorporated, trades on the CSE here in Canada under the ticker symbol MSET. As you can see, a pretty strong session. This is as of close on Tuesday, October 4th, where Mindset closed out the day up about two and a half cents Canadian, which equates to just over 5% to close out at 51 cents. Now, as you can see on the six month chart, you guys, kind of all over the map here, so a little bit different than what we've seen with a lot of the smaller cap companies over the last few months. You can see Mindset bottomed out around the end of July at about 31 cents Canadian. They peaked out here a little bit later in the month of September, actually the 1st of September at 60 cents. And they've had a pretty strong recovery really since about the 20th of September, where again, we tested those lows in the mid 30 cent Canadian range, and we're now hitting above 50 cents. So maybe a great buying opportunity to take advantage of this company that's really firing on all cylinders. Now Mindset is involved in the psychedelic drug development space, specifically a neuropharmaceutical drug discovery and development platform company. They've got a huge portfolio of intellectual property, which we're going to talk about, and a number of recent developments or key catalysts that just came out. You can see one of them here about seven days ago, which we're going to talk about in today's presentation. Now, if we jump over to the company website, I'll leave a link in the video description below. I wanted to give you guys a quick introduction as to what it is Mindset's all about. So you can see Mindset Pharma is a leader in developing next generation psychedelic medicines to treat neurological and psychiatric disorders. Now we've covered a number of these type of companies on the channel previously. The current status quo, you guys, really isn't very optimistic for a lot of these conditions. The treatments and the medications that are currently available are leaving a lot of patients really struggling and psychedelics offers a whole new realm in terms of treatment options and alternatives for these patients. Now, if we continue to scroll down on the company landing page, you can see their drug development pipeline. Now, we're going to talk about this in more detail as we move into their investor presentation, but I wanted to bring it up because the company is really focused on four different families of treatments or novel next generation psychedelic treatment opportunities. The first is really focused around this MSP 1014 compound or candidate, which is a psilocybin-like conjugate. Now, we're going to talk about this one in more detail as we move through today's presentation, but you can see this one's furthest along in terms of the drug development pipeline or clinical tests. Now family two again is psilocybin like it's high potency it's short acting and one of the recent news developments we're going to cover in today's presentation is related to one of these candidates which is MSP 2020. Family three is looking at low potency long duration micro dosing alternatives and family four is focused around DMT or DMT inspired compounds. So again a variety of different intellectual property and compounds that are currently at various different stages within the pipeline, which is why Mindset Pharma is so exciting and offers so much in terms of investment opportunity. Now Mindset Pharma was founded by domain experts in drug development, medical chemistry and capital markets, really making a powerhouse team here behind the company. Mindset Pharma is Toronto based, so based here in Canada. They're focused on research and development that utilizes a proprietary platform for discovering and developing novel, which means new, and patentable next generation psychedelic drug candidates, like we just saw in the previous slide, for the treatment of neurological and psychiatric disorders. So with that being said, we're now going to jump into the investor presentation and take a deeper dive into Mindset's business model. 
Now the first slide here really gives some additional information about the organization. So you can see they call themselves a premier biotech company developing those psychedelic inspired medications. We briefly touched on the fact that Mindset is advancing these multiple families of novel optimized drugs towards clinical development. But what I also wanted to call out here you guys is they have multiple partnerships in place which actually fund the commercialization including the only big pharma partnership in the novel drug space that can really help offset and pay for some of these costs in a non-dilutive way. And one of these partnerships, which we're gonna talk about a little bit later, is actually with a company by the name of Otsuka. And Otsuka is funding all of the development expenses on a non-dilutive basis, which is phenomenal for investors and shareholders. And that means that Mindset is able to finance the development of its drugs without the risk of diluting existing shareholders, which we often see with a lot of these smaller micro cap companies as they're looking for funding. And again, we'll get into that in a little bit more detail in a couple of slides here. Now they've got a formidable intellectual property portfolio, multiple patents and 12 patent applications covering a broad range of these novel next generation drugs, the synthesis processes and the delivery methods. So really covering the overall experience from end to end. And they've developed a proprietary novel patent pending intranasal formulation technology for improving the administration of a wide range of central nervous system or CNS medications. So again, a lot of different components or variables that really contribute to the overall mindset pharma organization. Now continuing on the theme of intellectual property and that comprehensive portfolio, central to all of it is really their intellectual property rights and that covers things including the novel drugs, the synthesis process or the way they actually create these drugs and the delivery technologies which we just discussed. So for me, this is really one of the key differentiators compared to a lot of these other psychedelic development type of companies because Mindset Pharma is not only pursuing and finding new candidates or new drug alternatives, but they're also finding new ways to deliver those drugs and to actually create them. Now in terms of how Mindset actually goes about doing all this, they're focused on drug discovery and their development strategy. And it's really broken out into these four steps, which we're gonna talk about next up. So Mindset is really on a mission to find new optimized next generation psychedelic and non-psychedelic medications for these clinical partners, which we've talked about. They have over 150 different drug candidates that they've synthesized and screened, and an unparalleled portfolio of patent pending new drugs, which are optimized for safety with a wide range of effects and duration. So really a whole portfolio of different candidates that they can select from for various different applications. Now in terms of how they go about thinking here, you guys, they really focus number one on targeting or solving a problem, which you know I love in terms of an investment opportunity. So starting with preclinical or clinical stage psychedelic drug candidates, with proven efficacy, but have not yet been optimized as pharmaceuticals. So from there, they're gonna design or optimize these drugs with improved efficacy, reduced safety liability, and really improved overall experience. From there, we move into the POC or proof of concept stage, which is gonna include in vitro or in vivo screening to benchmark against clinically relevant reference drugs to demonstrate the improved pharmacological parameters so really benchmarking against existing drugs to show the efficacy and treatment options for these new compounds or candidates. And then the final step, which again is crucial to the actual revenue generation and future development for Mindset Pharma is to partner with clinical groups or outlicense their assets, which in turn allows them to further expand the pipeline of new drug candidates. And then they really just rinse and repeat this process over and over, which has allowed them to build that impressive portfolio of intellectual property and continue to synthesize and screen the 150 different drugs we see above. Now with all that being said, and now that we understand Mindset Pharma's business model, their approach, and how this company has really differentiated itself from others in this space, I wanted to talk about their drug development portfolio in a little bit more detail. Now we already talked about families one through four briefly in the intro here, you guys, but I wanted to dive into some of these additional partnerships and some of these additional families that we haven't yet touched on. 
So first and foremost is family number one. These are the psilocybin inspired candidates. So psilocybin analogs which focus on receptor binding and have a functional profile similar to psilocybin. And what's interesting with the family one candidate here you guys is you can see they've partially partnered with Cybin which is another company, a leading company in this space. And that's actually one of the articles I wanted to quickly touch on. So you can see this came out September 27th, so fairly recently here. Mindset Pharma provides strategic intellectual property license, so they've licensed out some of this IP to Cybin. And as you continue to scroll down, you can see they've licensed a subset of Mindset's Family One intellectual property. And this represents an exclusive licensing agreement for Cybin Incorporated to acquire intellectual property rights for this subset of Mindset's preclinical compounds, again, falling into Family One. So under the term, Cybin will license the IP related to preclinical compounds within Mindset's Family One portfolio, excluding MSP 1014, which again, we talked about in the intro and is furthest along in Mindset's development pipeline and currently represents Mindset's lead psychedelic drug candidate. So they've held that one for themselves. However, this is a major step forward and really falls into that business model in terms of the partnerships that we just touched on on the previous slide. Now, as a result of this agreement, Cybin will make an initial payment of $500,000 US along with clinical development milestone payments, which could total up to $9.5 million US upon successful completion of these agreed milestones. Now on top of that, the agreement also contemplates a sales royalty of approximately 2% for any and all commercialized licensed products within the scope of this exclusive agreement, which is actually customary for drug licensing agreements like this. But this is exactly how Mindset goes about generating revenue and income from this robust portfolio of intellectual property. So this is a great example and a recent development or catalyst that really puts that business model into practice. Now the next section here you can see falls under the Otsuka partnership umbrella. This covers the family two psychedelic treatments and families four through five. So again, psilocybin inspired and that DMT inspired group of compounds. And we've actually got another recent news article or development that talks about this section of the portfolio in a little bit more detail. So again, I'll jump over. You can see this one came out on October 5th, so very recently. And it talks about Mindset Pharma selecting their lead clinical candidates from that family two group of its next generation psychedelic drug portfolio. So MSP 2020 and MSP 2003 have been selected and they both exhibit a stronger and shorter acting psychedelic effect than psilocybin in preclinical tests and have now been selected for this IND enabling study. And I should note IND stands for investigational new drug, which really kicks off additional research or investigation into these compounds. So Mindset today announced that after extensive preclinical screening studies, a leading psychedelic drug clinical candidate, MSP 2020, and a second backup drug candidate, which is the MSP 2003, have been selected from its Family 2 program in collaboration with the McQuaid Center for Strategic Research and Development. So again, a great example of a partnership, which is a member of the global Otsuka family of pharmaceutical companies to advance this IND or investigational new drug enabling study. Now what's so exciting about these new compounds or candidates is in these initial side-by-side -side comparisons to psilocybin and psilocin, and they've actually found these two new drug candidates to be considerably stronger. They're significantly shorter in terms of their duration or what's known as a reduced half-life, which means faster onset and offset of the actual patient. That's one of the biggest prohibitors to psilocybin, you guys, is it's very long acting and requires the patient to be actually monitored for the duration of that experience. And the other thing that's great about these candidates is they can be taken orally. And that's really why they're being looked at or developed as optimized next generation psychedelic drug candidates for the treatment, again, of a lot of these mental health disorders, which we've discussed at length in previous videos. Now, through this world-class scientific collaboration among the Mindset, MSRD, and Otsuka pharmaceutical teams, Mindset has successfully moved its Family 2 program forward. And what's so amazing about this partnership with Otsuka, this is one of the leading 
drug development companies in the world, you guys. And Mindset is actually getting all the benefits of this close strategic partnership without having to foot the bill. And this is a key development or opportunity for the company. Otsuka is one of the top psychiatric drug companies in the entire world. So this partnership represents a major opportunity for Mindset to progress or push forward their portfolio without having to actually foot the bill or pay for that investment. So an extremely exciting development, again, from their family to portfolio of compounds. Now, if we jump back to the investor presentation, you can see they've also got families four through five, which are those DMT or DMT inspired compounds. Families six through eight are focused on non-tryptamine compounds, which through preclinical screening have shown significantly enhanced receptor functionality and the potential for CNS or central nervous system penetration and oral bioactivity. And then the third family, which is non-psychedelic, again, focused on psilocybin inspired substances. Together complete this holistic portfolio of different opportunities in different drug categories or families. So a ton to be excited about here, all types of different activity and compounds being developed to treat a whole host of different medical conditions and really exciting stuff in terms of an investment opportunity. And this slide here is really just another visualization of this R&D pipeline. So again, you can see family one, MSP 1014. That's the one that Mindset has reserved for themselves is furthest along here in terms of the pipeline of development. Family two and four, which we just discussed is that big partnership with Otsuka and MSRD, and then family three and multiple different undisclosed targets, which are just really in the lead identification process within that drug development pipeline. And Mindset actually provides additional information about this MSP 1014 lead candidate in their investor presentation. So I'd encourage you guys to go in and take a closer look. Again, it demonstrates superior safety and effect size in head to head comparison with psilocybin. So a great alternative or proprietary substance. It's simpler and more cost effective to manufacture or create, which is gonna help reduce the overall cost of the drug and has the potential to be a safer and more effective alternative to psilocybin. So really removing a lot of the concerns associated with psilocybin and you can see the studies compared to traditional psilocybin. So very interesting stuff, very lucrative candidate here. Again, MSP 1014, which is currently the family one lead candidate for Mindset Pharma. So with all that being said, you guys, a really exciting opportunity here or company to take a look at and add to your watch list. To close things out, I really wanted to double click on these partnerships with some of these big pharmaceutical organizations. So you can see again, the strategic partnership with the R&D or research and development arm of Otsuka Pharmaceuticals, which is one of the global leaders in bringing central nervous system medications to market. Now you can see they specifically call out all development expenses are paid for exclusively by Otsuka Otsuka for Family 2, which includes that MSP 2020, which we just talked about, and the Family 4 drug candidates, through to the completion of Phase 1B clinical trials, which are anticipated to be within a year to 18 months. The total opportunity here, or the cost of developing these multiple families through to Phase 1B could be upwards of $45 million US, so again, a huge catalyst for Mindset Pharma, and they're gonna actually receive milestone payments of $5 million cash as they hit various different development goals. And the thing I personally love to see about this relationship, it's underscored here, you guys, all funding is non-dilutive. So Mindset is not gonna have to sell additional shares or dilute existing shareholders to fund these research programs. And in turn, Otsuka is gonna get what's known as ROFN or right of first negotiation or right of first refusal on these family two and four drugs. So really a win-win for both sides. And following the completion of this collaboration, Mindset could potentially own multiple phase two ready drug candidates with the opportunity to negotiate a larger partnership at that point. And at this point in time, among all of these various small cap companies in the space that we've covered on the channel, Mindset is the first and only group to partner with a big pharma player on new psychedelic drug development, which really de-risks this investment and validates the Mindset programs and portfolio of intellectual property. So a key differentiator and a key catalyst when you're looking at Mindset compared to some of these alternatives. Now to wrap things up, I wanted to leave you with this slide here, which does a great job of summarizing 
managing the investment highlights around Mindset Pharma. So you've got that rockstar team of industry experts which apply state-of-the-art drug development approaches in both medicinal chemistry and pharmacology, which are really focused on taking known psychedelic compounds and turning those into the next generation of psychedelic drug candidates. They've got that leading portfolio of next generation NCEs or new chemical entities which are optimized for safety and a wide variety of effects that we talked about in today's presentation. They've got those multiple strategic collaborations and that industry first partnership with Big Pharma on these psychedelic drugs and the associated development costs, the robust portfolio of intellectual property, which can be leveraged and utilized for a variety of different conditions, and those novel, new, or cutting edge delivery systems, which include intranasal and oral delivery for a lot of the first and second generation psychedelic drug candidates. So with that being said, Mindset has a clear development pathway forward. They're in an extremely high growth industry and they've really got a de-risked business model compared to a lot of their peers because of some of these strategic partnerships. So for those reasons, you guys, this is one I really like in this sector. I'd be super curious to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you currently holding shares of Mindset? What do you think about their business model and how they've differentiated themselves from some of the other players in this industry? If you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value. So make sure you hit the like button, you guys. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to do so. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.